Uh, how would you describe the group you guys have and kind of the dynamics of it? Uh, everyone's doing good. Everyone's catching on to the offense pretty well. Uh, a lot of versatile guys in the room. Uh, being able to catch out the backfield, running with speed, power. Everyone is overall is doing very, very good. Oh, here's Steven. How has the offensive line looked Rodell right throughout spring, those guys being physical, blocking, just having that dominance out there? Oh, man, those guys are dogs, man. Every last one of them, from the top to the bottom, the oldest to the youngest, man, they're doing great out there. Oh, here, Tony. Here, Charlie. <laughs> the disrespect. Um, <laughs> Coming off of this weekend's scrimmage, just how do you think the offense looked and how do you think that you guys are kind of building throughout the spring? Uh, we're looking pretty good. Um, of course, we still have some stuff to work on, working on the pre-snap penalties. Uh, um, just the, all the little small things, it's not really that much, but we look pretty good. Thank you. One of the guys that Coach Saban highlighted after Friday's scrimmage was Justice Haynes. Just what have you seen out of him this spring? Uh, his speed, being able to catch out the backfield, great guy. He learns well, came in, ready to work. Uh, overall, just a very, very smart kid. Knows what he's about his business and knows what to do. Yeah, another guy in the room, Jamarian Miller. He got a few touches last year late in games. You know, what, what have you kind of seen from him in year two going forward here? Uh, like same thing as Justice, man. He's a great guy. He learns quick, picks on things well. Great pass protector, great runner, very powerful runner. Uh, great speed, um, but he overall he's a he's a great kid also as well. And I'll just go around the room, Jace, and just kind of what you've seen with him <laughs> um, being in the room with him for now four years. Uh, me and Jace, you know, we're like a, a best friends for real, for real. Um, but he's a great guy as well. Off the field, we hang out a lot. So um, I mean, it's not really what to say really, but he's a great guy. You talked a bit about Justice kind of having his strong start. What are some of the keys for freshmen coming on the team just to learn, just kind of understand the program and what's expected of the guys? Uh, we always talk about the standard in the room, uh, knowing what the standard is, the expectations, what we need to do as running backs in the room, be a great protector, great eraser, and being able to just make an impact for the unit of the offense on this team. Over here, Tony. How much of an emphasis are you guys putting on those short yardage situations after last season? And then during the scrimmage, how'd you guys do in those kind of short yardage red zone looks? Uh, we did great. Um, the emphasis on that is we got to go get it. I mean, we, they put that package in, got to go get it. It's not really much to say really about that. The last two springs, obviously, you knew Bryce Young was going to be the quarterback. It's a little different this spring. There's a battle. And I'm not going to ask you to say who because I know you're not. But just how are things different for you as a running back when it's kind of um, kind of going through different quarterbacks throughout the spring? Uh, it's not really that much of a change, but you have to just get comfortable with who's back there, what's going on, what's the play call. You know, like I said, who's back there again. Um, but, I mean, they're both doing great. All, all of the quarterbacks are doing great, and they know how to handle each situation well. Since he's come in, Rodell, what type of fire and just competitive spirit have you seen from Malik Benson at wide receiver? Uh, he's he's got great spirit. Uh, he uplifts all those guys along with all the other receivers. They all correlate with each other well, and um, all of them are just great receivers. They great hands, great speed, route running ability. Everything is great about all of them. Yeah, earlier this spring, Coach Saban said you're coming off of an injury. Just what happened, and how are you feeling now? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, I spent a lot of time downstairs in the training room with those guys, and they, they I spend every day with them, so it's like I build a relationship with them, and everything is going good. Jamarian, he, he changed his name to Jam. Just Do you have thoughts on that? <laughs> I mean, no, nah, I really don't have a thought on that. We just all call him that, and that's that.